It's definitely nice to have some familiarity um, from the coaching staff to the players. You mentioned Pete, obviously having some years at, at University of Florida. And beyond that, just talking to him around the league, uh, extremely knowledgeable. He's had a lot of success. So it's nice to kind of be back with him. Mendy, obviously, is just a baseball guy. So he's awesome. He's on it. I'm happy and excited for him to have a, a team, you know, to run himself. Um, but beyond that, you know, first and foremost, the most important thing, especially in the position that I was in this offseason, was was opportunity. And, um, you know, there's tremendous opportunity with the Mets. Um, they expressed, um, you know, their, what they wanted to achieve in free agency. And I think that they got the player um, in me. And I think that they hit um, they hit just that. You know, I, I can impact, just like David said, on, on all sides of the ball. And and listen, there's no doubt that health is, um, you know, my main focus. And we take extreme ownership of that. And when I say we, I mean my entire team and everybody involved and in making sure that I'm the best, um, you know, physically um, sound athlete I can be so I can go out there and, and ultimately be impactful. So when I was navigating this entire process with my agents, um, opportunity was most important. Um, and then from there, you know, let's be real, it, it, to, to be able to be in New York and to continue my dream, which is to ultimately win a championship in New York, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to take it, taking full advantage of it and, and diving into it day in and day out and seeing how it shakes out. Um, and I think the atmosphere and what New York um, can bring out of the people who rise up to the challenge of it and, and do their best to adapt and, and work with it, um, I think it pays off. So I'm excited for the challenge and, and I couldn't be happier than it's in these colors. So being physically there is, is really, really important. And then taking the steps to do everything I can to prepare physically to get the absolute most out of my talent to help this team win, plain and simple. Um, you know, I'm not talking about, you know, anything beyond just simply putting the work in, getting up, showing up, continuing to do the reps, um, getting the proper recovery and getting the proper sleep. And like Sevi talked about and showing up the next day and doing it until the season's done. And hopefully it's, it's after world series, which is all of our goals. Um, it's really all there is to it. It's just a commitment to that. It's a complete dive into that. Um, and if there's an extra gear that I have to tap into, which I do believe I have to tap into because every year, you know, baseball players age differently and the stresses are different. So, um, tapping into that gear, channeling that um, focus um, is is all I'm I'm really concerned with. So as long as that's taken care of and I'm physically there, I know how effective I can be. Um, and I'm looking forward to continue that day in and day out. And you know, again, take it one day at a time, one game at a, game at a time, and just go from there. I'm extremely excited to be back with Pete. Um, you know, actually, when I was a uh, when I was a freshman and Pete was an incoming incoming freshman the following year, I was the one who took him around campus, showed him everything. He was, you know, we all have a we have a weekend where we have to be responsible for the incoming freshman. And, um, you know, first and foremost, just, just a great kid, just a great guy, um, great energy, great smile, nice big, you know, polar bear presence, if you will. Um, you know, you fast forward, obviously what he's done in this league has been extremely impressive, but it's not by, um, accident by any means. Um, and again, like I mentioned earlier in this zoom call, having some familiarity on a team, uh, you know, is extremely, extremely important. It really is. Um, you know, I know what, uh, you know, I know what he's about. I know I can imagine if he's no different, which I don't think he is. Um, from the Pete I know from all those years at UF, um, it's just a great, it's a great culture in the clubhouse. And I'm only going to add to that in a positive way. So, you know, I, I think what's most important to embrace about the Mets fan base um, are the standards of winning um, and winning in New York um, and not to compare ourselves to any other organization, um, not to compare ourselves to, any past Mets team or any past version of where the organization may have been or came from, you know, where we all live currently as players is, is right now in this upcoming season. Um, and I think it's really, really important to, to, to never get on your high horse, especially in, uh, you know, in New York. Um, I think both organizations, but specifically the Mets have experienced what it's like to, to have heartbreak on the other side of winning and have heartbreak on the other side of success. You know, when things are going well is, is to continue to show up with our heads down and continue to be competitive and continue to kick the crap out of our opponent that night. Um, just to stay focused on the task at hand, which is coming together as a group and winning after nine innings and keeping that snow globe, that circle, that locker room, you know, all the energy we got going forward, um, keeping that as tight as possible. Um, so th those standards of winning and those standards of expectations, I think I'm going to embrace the most through my level of preparation, um, through the level of, of how seriously I take uh, this season. 
And uh, I'm going to make it as fun as possible. But there's no doubt that, uh, you know, if you dive into that energy properly, um, you know, it, it can be extremely powerful and it can be, uh, it can pay off really well for all of us. And I'm just going to do my best to add, um, you know, that level of intensity to the clubhouse and, and that level of intensity to how I plan to embrace, um, you know, every night being a Met.